Hello, my name is Hannah, and today we are building like a Christmas kind of inspired house, but it's not really Christmassy, it's just kind of like a winter build, because I know not everybody celebrates Christmas, so I just kind of made it like a wintry kind of build, used a lot of like brown and then red, and then I used bright green, well not bright green, like green curtains, so it's like red and green kind of Christmassy, but it's still just a bunch of like winter inspired stuff. So like dark colors, like plants that you kind of like, it's like, it kind of associates itself with winter. And then I made it in the snow because I, I, I felt like I wanted to make it in snow, but it also posed a bunch of challenges because um, as you can probably see right now, the parts of the, the like roof would not cover themselves in snow. So I, I played around with that for a while and then I made it like a bunch of different roof pieces so you could see the upper floor and that seemed to work better. So you can see um, that it fixed itself later, so that's good. Um, but since this video is coming out on Christmas, it's currently not Christmas, it's currently the 23rd, so sorry to ruin the illusion, but um, I thought I was going to talk, I, well, I think I'm going to talk about um, like gifts I received as a kid. Um, so as I said, I think, oh god, like three videos ago? I don't know, sometime in, in one of my previous videos, I talked about how, how I played with worms as a lot as a kid, and so... Um, uh, that's kind of like the kid I was, but my parents decided they wanted to get me dolls and like Barbies and like hair things and like typical girly stuff for most of my Christmases until I was about nine when I said, I don't want any of this because I, I would use it, but I didn't really enjoy it. But like, I feel like that's so bad, but like I would say I would want like things that weren't dolls and stuff, but they would still get me like doll stuff. So I ended up with, like, a bunch of these, like, knockoff American Girl doll things that I rarely played with, but I had to act like I really wanted them because, like, obviously they paid money for these things, but I just, I, I didn't want them. <laughs> but I, so now I get, like, books and clothes because I much prefer that um, because some most of my family refuses to get me, like, online, like, technology stuff. So I now ask for books and clothes, which is not what most people want, but that's what I would prefer to get. Um, so, I, I have a lot of books, actually, um, from, like, past Christmases and my birthdays when they're like, what do you want? Um, books. So, you know, this Christmas I got technology stuff because I asked and they finally said yes. So, you know, we got that, so we're all good. But, so the book collection is all good. I did get a book, though, but that was for my birthday, um, thing. Well, my birthday's in February. But I didn't use half of the stuff I got because we went right into the pandemic. So obviously the bookstores are closed. And I got a bunch of Barnes & Noble's like gift cards for my birthday. And I didn't use any of them until recently. So I got books from that. Um, but so I, I messed up my book collection slightly, but not entirely. So it's okay. Um, but I have like an entire like cube shelf. Like not a, it's, it's a shelf, but it has a bunch of like, sh like cube shapes. Yeah, that makes no sense. I got it from Target. If you know what I'm talking about, you probably are probably the only ones who get it. Um, but it's just nine little, like, square shelves that I put, like, books in, and it, like, is almost entirely full of books. So when I got, uh, two more books this year, they, like, barely fit. Um, but they, they do fit, so it's okay. But, like, a lot of the gifts I got as a kid, as back to the, like, Barbie stuff, I, as, like, a seven-year-old, owned a lot of Barbies because my mother liked Barbies so she would buy like Barbie stuff for me automatically assuming I would like that kind of stuff because she had a bunch of Barbies as a kid and she always loved them so I had a lot of Barbies just like 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 stuff just like everything like I had a camper I had like a ship looking thing I had a bunch of just actual Barbies Barbie like decorations and like toys and stuff but I did not like them. <laughs> I would still play with them, as I said, because I didn't want to seem, like, ungrateful, but I, I would play with them, but I would do, like, random stuff, like, I wouldn't play normal Barbie. I would play, like, I would play, like, school. You know how, like, some kids play, like, school? I would do that with the Barbies, and then sometimes I would just, like, you know, throw them across the room, because that is, I think that's what most kids do with toys, um, just throw them across the room, so that's not entirely weird. But I just owned so many Barbies for, like, most of my childhood, and those, I think, are in the basement currently. Because I, at, like, 10 years old, was like, I don't want these Barbies anymore, and so they're now downstairs, 
along with most of the other doll stuff. Because I'm not going to play with dolls. I'm f almost 15 at this point. So, not playing with dolls. No, that's not what I'm doing. I have, like, literally no toys in my room. Like, most of the gifts I got as, uh, as a child are no longer in this room. Except when they were with from my friends. My friends knew that I didn't want doll stuff for most... Some, like, 4th and 5th, 6th grade. I was, like... I had to tell my parents what to tell my friends to give me. So they would always give me doll stuff. So I'm sorry if you ever got me anything doll related. Um, or were under the impression that I liked dolls. Because I don't. I have literally, there's literally dolls all over my house. I'm terrified of the dolls. So, very sorry. Um, but, yeah, it was always dolls. I don't remember any birthday present or Christmas present I ever got from, like, like my immediate family that was not doll-themed. Um, I remember for my grandmother, I got a suitcase, and it was pink. And you, and no, you don't know this, but, like, I'm not a big fan of th pink things. I never really was. Pink is a fine color. You can like pink all you want, but I just didn't really like the it, like entire like meaning of like pink. And so like everything that I got from my grandmother was pink and my brother always got blue stuff and I prefer blue. But uh no, pink is a girl's color apparently because me and my cousin who was a girl and then my brother and my other cousin who's a boy would always get like pink versus blue stuff and we'd always be like why like because me and my cousin both did not want pink stuff from <laughs> our family we were both like why'd you give us this we could have all just had the same one and then we wouldn't have thrown a fit but we were, we were like seven so just keep that in mind age difference <laughs> um but like it's it's different growing up like that they're always like you get the pink stuff and you get the blue stuff and it's just like what are you doing you're teaching your kids this and you know it didn't really work very well <laughs> we were all just like no we should all have one color because the boys like they didn't never threw a fit about them having like blue stuff but I feel like if they would have gotten like introduced to the fact that that was like a girl because I don't think either of them knew that it was like boys versus girl color because they're younger than us um, me and my cousin are like the oldest and we're both girls so we both got these pink things and we we're like why'd you get us pink and then blue is that was there a purpose behind that and yeah and then they'd be like yeah because it's a girl's color and I think that's the same thing with like the Barbies that we got and like because like my cousin also got like these like girly Legos I also had girly Legos but I like the Legos more because I could like do what I wanted to and most of that was not dressing up my you know Lego characters and playing like family and stuff like that I don't know but like you know I just don't understand family gifts so you know the books however I get to choose because they don't know what it's about so if I want a book that is historical fiction about the sinking of um, some random ship that was like the Titanic, but worse. <laughs> That's what the book I just got was about. That's made probably no sense to most people. They have no clue because salt to the sea does not allude to that. To that. So, you know, also good book. Would recommend. Um, but, you know, I, I just don't understand that entire thing. Because that was the entirety of my childhood. Was that kind of gifts and that kind of like treatment towards like gifts towards like the girls versus the boys. They would get that and stuff, so I, ju I just don't get it. Because it was very obvious that me and my cousin did not want that stuff. And my cousin was much more um, outgoing than me, and so she would, like, say something about, the, like, the gifts. She's, like, I think a year younger than me. Um, so I was technically the oldest, but she was much more outspoken about it. She would be like, no, this is a girl's toy. I don't want that. And then... Yeah, it was a, it was a thing, because, like, especially at Christmas, because you're supposed to be, like, thankful for your gifts, because so that everyone would, like, be like, you're, you should be thankful that we spend all this money on you, and so, but then it, it was really bad, because <laughs> I didn't say anything ever about it. I, d I talked to my brother about this somewhat, and then I talked to, you know, my friends slightly about this, but it's, it's just so weird. Like, why would you get your kids purposeful gifts that they're not gonna want? Because my brother and my um, cousin never got anything that they didn't want. Because my brother I has gotten, like, like I'd say more, like, stereotypical, like, gender-neutral stuff in, like, the recent years. 
but he also really liked trucks and cars and, like, these, like, stereotypical, like, boyish things when he was little. So he always got what he wanted. And my, I think my other, yeah, my other cousin liked skateboards, and so that's fine. And they never were like, yeah, that's a, that's a grown-up thing. So he started skating at, like, seven, which is so weird. <laughs> yeah, well, not, not the skating thing. The skating thing is really cool. I think that's really cool. A lot of my family skates. But the fact that he, they got presents that they wanted, and we didn't. Gender roles are weird. Um, also, if you can hear the wind blowing, it snowed earlier this morning, which I'm very excited about, because all the snow had melted from last time I talked about it snowing. So it snowed this morning, and now it's, like, very windy, blowing around the snow everywhere. So, you know, it may be a white Christmas after, after all, even though it might still melt. But, you know, we can pray that uh, that it will stay um, snowy. But it's close to the end of this Christmas kind of build, this wintry Christmas build. So it's almost screenshots time. Maybe subscribe if you stayed this long and enjoyed my content. Um, but, yeah, it's almost screenshots time, so I post a new video every day of the week so you can watch another video tomorrow. Bye!